the Ramrod recommends on Beyond the Bedlam. I've got fucking man flu. Ugh. So it's time to do a comforting 10 year anniversary special. That can mean one of two things. It's time to celebrate a really great horror movie or I've watched fuck all that's good recently. I did watch a film called The Monster Project. Well, start watching a film called The Monster Project and it was fucking shit, so I turned it off. So instead, I'm gonna celebrate the 10th anniversary of Rob Zombie's Halloween. Another of these really controversial remakes. Now, Halloween divided the fuck out of people when it came out 10 years ago. That's a long time ago now to all these youngsters out there who were streaming all their uncut, high def, perfect 4K horror movies. And when this film came out back in the day, which is 10 years ago now, which is fucking bizarre, this was a very controversial movie. I think it had a head start because Rob Zombie was attached to it. Now obviously Rob was in White Zombie, Heavy Metal Band, the first Heavy Metal Band I ever saw in 1994. Then he became a movie maker. He had Hell with House of a Thousand Corpses. He made Devil's Rejects, which is a sequel. And then he was attached to Halloween. And I think on the most part, the horror community were very, very excited. Even though purists were going, how the fuck can they remake the classics and you know John Carpenter won't hate this idea I'm pretty sure at the time when Rob Zombie was announced John Carpenter gave him his blessing since then I've heard different things in interviews but again on the most part Rob Zombie making a Halloween movie I couldn't wait Rob Zombie's style now I'm a big big fan and not only of his music of his stage show but his ideals and his thoughts on horror and how he makes horror movies i think today he's one of the most unique voices in horror i am very biased because i just love him anyway i love him as a person i love that he's a miserable bastard and he gets shit done he makes really good old school horror movies this guy was brought up on the stuff i was brought up on texas chainsaw massacre the hills of eyes not the remakes guys, the original ones that were made in the 70s before you were all born mostly. So Rob Zombie's Halloween, now this is the unrated director's cut, this is the two hour version. I know there is a theatrical version out there which is a little shorter and plays around with different scenes but this is the version I'm, I hold dear to my heart, this is the, the big long horrendously violent and I think absolutely brilliant 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 horror movie that Rob Zombie made. Now, I love the original. It is one of the best horror films ever made. Not just one of the best horror films ever made, one of the best films ever made. As you can see, I'm a big Michael Myers fan, okay? I like Halloween a little bit. I like Halloween quite a lot, okay? That's another little Halloween tattoo there. So I've got, I've got two fucking Halloween tattoos. That's how much I love Halloween, okay? so. I should really hate this, shouldn't I? But I think it's excellent. I think what he's done in his little Rob Zombie world is he's created another universe where Michael Myers existed. It's not John Carpenter's universe. It's Michael Myers if it was in Rob Zombie's universe. And that's why I think it works so well. He does give Michael Myers a bit of heart and a little bit of soul in this. He does give him some motive which does help his character going forward in this movie. It does propel him into the maniac that he becomes. We don't really get that in Carpenter's movie. Michael is just pure evil. And I can look at them totally separately as two total different versions of the Michael Myers mythos, if you will. Um, I think the violence in this Again, like I love Rob Zombie's gritty 70s style. And the violence in this is another thing that propels it high for me. Michael Myers is played by Taylor Mayne, who is absolutely massive. He is a huge, intimidating motherfucker. And when he is dressed in the Myers guise, again, Michael's got a different mask in this movie. He was all rotted and it was... It was Rob Zombie, wasn't it? It was typical Rob Zombie. He looks like he's going to fucking murder the fuck out of you um, when 
we had the original Michael. He was probably around five foot ten, something like that. You know, he, he looks like a guy you could have probably had a fight with if he didn't have that big knife. This guy, he's he's got more of the Jasons about him. If he come through your fucking door, you haven't got a chance. He's gonna stab the fuck out of you. And in this, he stabs the fuck out of everybody, and it's very very satisfying. That is not the main reason I love this movie. The other main reason why I love this movie is Laurie Strode's character and the young lady who plays her, sorry, Scout Taylor Compton, is absolutely brilliant. And in the sequel he made, which people fucking hate as well, and I really love, she is absolutely brilliant. She's not a millennial Laurie, but she is a quite a savvy one. She takes on Michael Myers towards the end of this movie and she is, she's just brilliant. She's a great little screen queen. She's not up to the standards of Jamie Lee Curtis, you know, because again, it's iconic stuff. You know, it's like Norman Bates, you know, nobody else could play him but Anthony Perkins. Nobody else could really be Laurie like Laurie is, but Jamie Lee Curtis. But in this, she does a, a cracking job. We've also got horror royalty, Danielle Harris, who's obviously been in the other Halloween sequels. She's sassy as fuck. She's brilliant. I always love her in this. We've got Malcolm McDowell in this, who plays Loomis. Again, Donald Pleasance had a different sort of aura about him, a lot more intense. Malcolm McDowell, he's a little bit hammy, but he suits the Rob Zombie styling. And then I come to Brad fucking Dorif as Sheriff Brackett. Again, what hasn't been said by Brad Dorif, you already know how fucking amazing he is. And he's amazing in this. They play it very straight. It's done dead seriously. It's an absolutely brilliant reimagining. There's people out there watching this now, they're going, shut the fuck up, you're wrong, you don't know what you're talking about. Like I say, it did divide the horror community and it still divides people to this day. Um, but as a, as a massive Halloween freak and a, a Michael Myers fan, of, most importantly, John Carpenter obsessive, I can still say that Rob Zombie did a very, very, very good job with this. So happy 10th anniversary. Rob to Halloween. Um, I'll touch briefly on the sequel he made to this where he kind of went mental and really pushed it into his own little universe and people fucking hated it. Michael Myers was walking around with his mask on, he even speaks in one version of the sequel again, he did a theatrical version and a director's cut version, both quite different very very nasty the second one extremely violent but that's what i want to see i want people to be in peril and when a fucking seven foot tall psychopath comes through the door with a mask on and a knife it ain't gonna end well he stabs the fuck out of people he smashes faces into walls again great sequel so well done rob and i've got your back on this and i think this is a fucking great movie and i like watching it just as much as i love watching the original so Happy birthday, Halloween. <laughs> That's all the singing I'm going to do, I promise. So I hope you enjoyed my little 10th anniversary celebration of Rob Zombie's Halloween. I'm going to probably watch the fuck out of it tonight because I'm on one now. And I hope you're going to go and watch it too. So to all the horror fans out there and everybody loves watching Ramrod Recommends, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to give us a like, give us a subscribe on YouTube. And we'll see you again for another Beyond the Bedlam. And bye for now. Do, 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 do. I like doing this. Watch with Ramrod, we should call it. Here you go. Oh, yeah. There he is. It's cool as fuck, isn't it? Oh, where's he gone? Like fucking lightning, mate. You'd have heard him shuffling around in there. He's massive. Now, oh. see you later. Halloween, Halloween, this is Halloween, this is Halloween, ten year anniversary. Halloween, 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 Halloween. What are we doing?